All right, I'm back again. Continue to work on Helga, my Eurospec M3. Today, starting the whole Vanos rebuild process. So Vanos, Vanos issues are very, very common in BMWs, particularly the earlier ones. The Vanos itself uses a solenoid and high pressure oil from the head to actuate or change the cam tuning or cam timing um, by either advancing or retarding it. This is done via solenoids with O-rings which separate the high pressure oil from the low pressure side. Over time these O-rings and seals start to leak and they don't seal as well. What happens is they bleed off pressure and you don't get full retard or advance on the cam itself. Related to that there's something called Vanos rattle which is there's an excess play in some of the key components. Um, obviously you need a play for it to move, so there's, there's some shims and whatnot that would take up that play. These over time wear or never sat quite right. So there's a kit to do that. So to address this, I'm using a kit from Bessian Systems. I'm going to get at it and show you kind of what the stuff is and what we're doing. So the Bessian Systems kit, besides all the parts, comes with some really detailed instructions, including this great tool list of all the tools you're going to need so you can source them if you don't have the right ones. With this, the Bessian system I ordered, comes with a bunch of parts. It comes with the Vanus seal repair kit, the rattle kit, and the rattle tools. There's some special tools that are needed to do the anti rattle stuff. So it comes with a set of tools as well. And instructions on to what additional BMW parts you have to order. So I went to order and ordered M5 O-rings and the seals for the for the assembly, assembly and some nuts and bolts that get replaced. And as well, valve cover gasket and spark plug uh, seals. So other seals I decided to do at the same time. And what they don't talk about here, but I'm doing is Molly Coat is a silicon based seal lubricant for O-rings. This stuff is the bomb. Um, what it does, it prevents or reduces the chance of damage to O-rings during installation. Dry O-rings when you install can often be torn and rolled. This stuff allows everything to slip into place nicely. So the combination of this stuff here can be used to rebuild this whole Vanus assembly right here. Next step, I've got to pull the entire Vanus assembly off the front of the head. Once that's done, I will then start the assembly or disassembly and the process of redoing all the seals. Vanos, like many variable valve timing systems, uh, splits the outer ring of the cam sprocket from the inner drive on the cam and it's joined via splined, axial splined, an axial splined uh, shaft. By driving the shaft in and out with a solenoid, you can adjust the cam timing. And this is the whole Venice assembly. This is on the exhaust side, it's basically just a direct connect. Here's the two solenoids, the in and the out. And this is the drive pump. And the solenoids feed oil through this drive pump which forces the piston, which is this right here, to actuate the shaft which then drives the spline in and out, thus rotating the cam shaft retarding or advancing the cam. That's simple. The time continuum has been disrupted, creating this new temporal event sequence resulting in this alternate reality. Now that the Vanos assembly has been removed from the motor, it's time to go through it, disassemble it, change it all the O-ring seals and gaskets as provided by the BSAN systems kit. Yeah.
pretty much all through the, the physical Vanos rebuild portion, all the seals and all rings and what internally have been done. Um, so that's what all been for, done through. What's next is the solenoids. I'm doing two things here. One, I'm going to replace the O-rings with some brand new upgraded Viton from an M5. And replace it because the, the original O-rings, these are supposed to be soft rubber. They're hard to describe, but they feel like plastic, hard plastic. They are just old and beyond help. The second thing is these over time gunk and oil and crap builds up in the solenoids themselves and they don't work well. So what I'm going to do before I do anything else, I am going to do one of the inlet holes. I'm going to force a bunch of brake clean and using a nine volt battery and a couple alligator clips. I'm going to cycle the solenoids until it sounds clean. You can't probably get in here, just clickety click. I did this a little bit earlier and I could barely hear a click. Now I can hear a solid click. So I know I've basically cleaned out all the old gunk inside the solenoids. So they operate correctly. These are set up to go. I'm just going to install the O-rings and get ready to prep them back into the unit itself. All right, so I've completed the rebuild on the Vanos assembly the solenoids, and everything. So that's good to go ready to install. Before I install it, as we prevent a mentor since I'm already in to this motor, I am going to do the install the Bessan, or Bessan uh, anti-rattle kit. All right, it's time to remove the Vanos cam gear. Do a bit of a jiggle jiggly, and out she pops. So inside here, I have to take this apart and basically get rid of some of the, the play that's in this, which just causes the rattle. What we have to do is we have to remove this cover here, and behind this cover is a shim stack, which then we can we can adjust the shims to take out the play. The problem is how do you get this off? We don't want to damage these threads, so Bessan Systems have this really nice vice adapter with the thread set up to match this, which I can now mount in the bench vise. Second part of this is there's two drive holes on a pin drive system. Well, they provide a modified socket that's been machined with two pin drives. This allows me to drive this over top using an impact gun, pull the cap off. So let's see what happens. Ta-da! Ta-da! So I've disassembled the Vanos drive assembly. And what we have is a ring that this sits within inside the, the collar itself. So it keeps everything centered. We've got the whole drive assembly and the end cap. So the assembly consists of a bottom washer slash shim, a radial a thrust bearing, the shaft with two bearing surfaces, a top radial or thrust bearing and a top shim. So when everything's assembled, like so, and then capped into place, the thickness of this outer ring, as it gets clamped down into the assembly, as well as the sh shim stack thickness, dictates the amount of axial play and radial play. So by adjusting the thickness of the outer ring and the thickness of the shims, we can get the desired amount of play or lack thereof. All right, based upon my testing of the assembled uh, Vanus drive assembly, 
there is an awful lot of, of uh, axial play. So I decided to first, according to the best instructions, the first thing you want to do when you have too much axial play is you need to bring down the ring or the collar size down. So what I've decided to do to start is to start with the Bassan system, which is 7 thou uh, narrower. And I'll assemble with that, talk to spec, and see uh, what we're at, what we're at. Let's see where we're at here. Absolutely no play. It rotates with a little bit of drag, which is what they say you want. And I still have radial movement for alignment. Lovely. Well, that was good. I was expecting I have to do a bit more work and do some work sanding and shimmying and stuff, but right out of the bag, apparently I had about 7 thou, too much tolerance or too much uh, gap in, in the OE setup. Probably wore it over time. And now, it's lovely. So, I'm going to disassemble, clean, relube, put some th uh, thread lock on it, and tighten it down for good. Oh, there we go. Mark lines up, the camshaft to the cam cap. Exhaust lines up, the tape lines up, mark lines up, and the Vanos is fully seated, a Vanos uh, gear drive. It's fully seated into the actual uh, body of the cam. So we're good to go. Alright, that's a wrap. Rebuilt Venus has been installed, everything checks out, new extra bolts, everything looks really, really great. Next steps, I'm going to work on checking the valve clearances, uh, reshimming, and replacing shims as necessary as so I get the tolerances I want. So, there we go, have fun, and uh, we're on to the next. Yes, I know I've been saying it wrong. B-San. I say b -San. You say potato, I say potato. B-San, B-San, b -San. Be san. Be san. Yeah. Comment below. I know. I'm a tool. <laughs>